I started doing implant work back in 1982, 1983, and I did a bunch of training. I mean, a, a lot of hours, maybe a hundred hours of continuing ed on ramus frames and subperiosteals and blade implants. And geez, it, it just wasn't what I really wanted to do. At that time, I think we probably were putting in oh eight to ten root form implants a year and it just wasn't economical. So I quit placing implants in 1984 because we had this great oral surgery practice on the second floor of my dental practice. Years passed and, and in 2010 I think we referred 87 implants out that year. And financially, what would it do to my practice if, if I started placing implants? It came to a time when Galileo's was right for me. And so last year in May, we installed a Galileo's Comfort in the practice. And Galileo's has changed my practice and my life more than anything I can imagine. When a patient comes to our practice, what's incredible is the amount of information that we discover together. And it's really a co-discovery event where they just get wow. And then when you can follow through with that and do single visit seric restoration, that's another wow. So my practice gets referrals based on the wow factor of doing, doing technology. You know, I go home every night, I, I sleep well, I have, I have great freedoms to be removed from the practice. Uh, don't worry about the, the effects of what I've done because I know I've done it to the best of my ability. So that's what a Galileo scan does for a dental practice. I've been in practice in uh, Prairie Village and Overland Park for the last 28, 30 years. And you know, I, I, I love the hands-on ability to control the kind of dentistry that I want to do. But since we've added uh, the Galileos last uh, June to the practice, uh, the number of new patients has just absolutely exploded. Uh, I'm to the point where, where I used to think that I would just be a single dentist practice. I'm really in the need of adding an associate just so I can free up some time that I can do the kinds of things that I want to do. You know, if I, if I could think back about my experience about buying a Galileo, buying a 3D imaging system. The only thing I can think about is I wish I'd have done it sooner. I wish I'd have done it three years ago or two years ago. I wish that I'd have been on the forefront of that because it just it it's it's just mind warping to see what we see today compared to what we only saw with two-dimensional X-rays.